Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be deep cleaning the backyard, feeding the chickens, watering plants, doing all kinds of stuff. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking, so definitely hit the subscribe button and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, we got a lot to do, so let's jump right into it. Good morning, guys. Okay, I just took one of my, um, those BNU Propolis shots because of my allergies <clears throat> are going crazy. But, <gasps> Enzo! Don't poo in there! Memes! Damn it. Why? Oh my god. Uh... <sighs> okay, well, in higher news, my garden is growing. I guess I'll have to just throw that away. Oh, my little herbs are sprouting. So excited about that. I'm gonna give these a quick water. Cannot believe Enzo just pooped in my garden. Like this is ridiculous. The herbs over here are looking good. Thai basil's looking a little sad. So, and then I have, I think this is fennel. Yeah, this is fennel. Some mint. I'm gonna share a really fun mint drink with you guys as well. Hi girls, I'll be over in a second. I believe these are all squash. Um, my husband replanted a bunch of these for me. So, um, so yeah, that's that. Just make sure there's no other poops in here because my celery is looking beautiful. Chive is looking beautiful. We have some zucchini here. Our watermelon. Cucumbers. And then this is, um, parsley. So, and everything. Hi, Chewy. Needs a little water over here. And then here are all of our peppers. They are looking great, really happy. And our tomatoes, I love the way your hand, ooh, look at this basil, oh my God. Oh wait, that's not basil, that's a pepper. Okay, whew, thank God I didn't bite that. Um, I love the way your hands smell after you touch a tomato plant. Oh, it's the best. See, this is what I was telling you guys about. It's like, I don't know, I don't know what happened here. So we'll give this a quick water. We need to feed the chickabooms. Hey ladies. We're all waiting. Hey pump. Hey Blanca. Hey Sophie. All right, who am I missing? It's probably Lucy. Oh, there you are, Lucy. Um, Kids cleaned that out yesterday, so I don't have to do that. And I'll take you guys over. Look how beautiful. It's probably Enzo, you pooper. I can't believe you pooped in my garden. Yeah. Who were you? Oh, hey. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's stay on task. So today's projects are: I need to build one more of these rocking chairs. I was, I got all four, thinking I was going to put them over by the fire pit but we're gonna do that together today and i need to clean all this up the kids were playing in here this side of the property is looking pretty good i wanted to just clean all this up i did get a new set of bocce balls so i might put those out and I, i'm thinking i'm gonna rake rake this because they're gonna bring new oyster shells i think is what goes on this um it smells so good here today the pool is nice and heated I got lots of toys out here we need to get rid of. <clears throat> I'm thinking of moving that little seating area over here um, that's over here, but I don't know yet. I gotta figure it out. And I kinda wanted to add some decor up here, make it look nice, and um, yeah, let's see, how warm is it? It's 74, okay, it's not that warm. And then just cleaning all this stuff up, we had a bunch of people over this weekend so I just want to clean up I want to do a nice tablescape because we're gonna eat outside um, tonight which is gonna be really nice and just get all that stuff kind of cleaned up the other big project we're gonna to do today is pressure wash a bunch of stuff um, and like you can see the kids play over here so I just I just need to get all that oh we have a lot of work to do girl all right I better get to work. <laughs> Kittens! I get dressed up to go downtown. I'm all messed up on a Friday night. Not really here for a good time. But if you're up for drinks and a good crowd, raise your glass to the sky. Let's toast to that. All these people can stare. I don't care about that. 
This is my pity party. I'm gonna cry all night and I'll flip the bird at the guys. If you guys want to say hi to Pumpkin Spice Latte and Sauvignon Blanca, definitely give this video a thumbs up so you can give them a little love. I'm gonna feed them and I gave them water already today, so we are gonna jump into the garden, scoop out Enzo's wonderful poop. Her contribution was much appreciated, and then I'm gonna water everything, get it nice and saturated. I basically been watering this garden every morning and every night. I try to do it before like eight o'clock in the morning, that way it's not so hot, but this particular morning I had so much going on with the kids, so at least it gets water. Now I do recognize that we do have drips on here, but we haven't turned them on and had them tested with our gardener yet. So I'm just waiting for that day because you have to be here all day to make sure all the drip systems throughout the whole property work and none of us have had time to do that. So once that's done, I won't have to do as much of the watering, but like the herbs on this other side and the strawberries we have will always have to be hand watered. But either way, I'm getting so excited. I can't wait for our first harvest. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys I started planting your gardens yet. I'm not someone you should cheat on This when I come back, I come back strong Raise your glass to the sky Let's toast to that All these people can stare I don't care about that This is my pity party I'm gonna cry all night and I'll flip the... The first thing I wanted to do was kind of pick up all the stuff off the ground and then I'm gonna get started with our pressure washing. Now this pressure washing took me about five hours to do. It took me a majority of the day and I really had my heart set on decorating but I'm gonna do that the following day because this was so much work and by the time I finished it was 94 degrees outside. So I jumped in the pool with the kids but for the most part I got all of the stains off of the ground except there's a little bit of a green stain over here that I can't get done. I did find a product on Amazon. If it does work, I will link it in a future video, but so far nothing has worked to get that off. I also want to move some of the furniture around so you guys will see a little bit of that. Inside these little reveals where we had crabgrass, I'm thinking of putting um, either DG in there or actually cutting out pieces of um, AstroTurf. So definitely hit the subscribe button because I think we're going to end up doing the AstroTurf. I think it'd be really beautiful. The kids had a painting project on this table. I got this set from Target. It is the Studio McGee line. I loved it. Um, so I'm going to actually spray paint that black just to touch it up for the season and just make it fresh and new again. so excited to share a really great summer recipe with you guys later in this video. If you are on my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson, I try to share things all day. So this whole day I shared on Instagram as well as that recipe. It is a green goddess blackened chicken kale salad, which is so delicious. 
I highly recommend um, subscribing to my channel so you can see that, but I'm also 89 recipes into my digital cookbook, which um, we'll probably put on membership here on Instagram, or I'm sorry, on YouTube if you guys are interested. Um, but I'll be telling you a little bit more about that later because my thought is I will always include my video, my recipes for free and all my other videos. But if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of searching through everything um, and downloading them, I'm trying to compile them in a digital format so you guys have access to them really quickly. But this recipe will definitely be in this video and I will be including it there as well. But I cannot wait. I think I have about 140 recipes that will be on there and um, it's just been so much work it's been taking me hours to get them recut and put back onto the platform but I'm excited to be sharing that with you guys very soon I think you guys those of you who are looking for that it'll be available to you otherwise all my recipes have always been on my channel and they will always stay there as well so now I need to get all of these uh, cushions removed I washed them already last week and everything's nice and clean here but I wanted to pressure wash these chairs and get them ready to be deep cleaned I just want this to be a PSA, check the balloons that you're purchasing for your backyard because first off, as a mom, do you ever have those moments where you're cleaning something up and you're like seriously baffled and wondering what it is? This is one of those stains. Like I know it's not milk and I know it's not paint. I <laughs> can't seem to figure out what it is. Um, but those balloons that we got, definitely don't get those. They are a disaster to clean up. I'm lucky they didn't stain the cement, but that white stain still juries out. Still don't know what it is. I asked all the kids, they said, oh, I've never seen that. <laughs> but I love those moments as a mom where you're just like, what? happened here. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is spray out these tables. I was going to throw them out, but I decided to just repaint them and they turn out perfect. The last thing I need to do is build my last Lubona rocking chair. I absolutely love these. Back at the old house, you guys loved the rocking chairs we had on the porch, which I love too. They're amazing. But the quality of those were very, they were wood. And I wanted something that had a better um, ability to withstand the elements like rain and things like that. So I found this company called Lubona, which makes these beautiful Adirondack style rocking chairs out of recycled polymer materials so they kind of look like real wood but they're stronger and way more durable they won't chip peel or rot and I want to leave them outside and not have to worry about them I love this classic design this is exactly what I was looking for it can hold up to 350 pounds which is great so if my husband's sitting in there and I maybe want to cuddle up on his lap the thing won't collapse <laughs> and I love that it has a high impact um, material that way the kids and being splashed by the pool and things like that, they won't rot. I was able to reach out to this company and ask them if they would be willing to extend a discount code for not only me to use, but also for you guys. And they did send me one. It is Lauren-15 for 15% off.
off. They have beautiful Adirondack chairs as well, which I was just really impressed, not only by the quality of this company, by their selection as well as their prices. So if you guys wanna check them out, it is the first link in my description box down below. Okay guys, I just picked the kids up from school, so I'm going to end today and I will catch you guys in the next video when we do our decorating. But I'll give you a little tour of where we kind of ended things up. Hi, Chewie. Hey, girl. Um, so this rug I pressure wash, so it's just drying. We'll decorate this whole area. I have some cute lanterns I'm going to put over there, some black ones. I need to go over to the downtown Napa house to grab them. But everything looks good. We got some of this off. I did order some stuff that says that they can get that up off the floor or the ground, so that'll be nice. Here are the rocking chairs. My goodness, these things are heavy. I feel like when I was making them, I saw my husband and I, 80, still rocking in these because they're really incredible quality. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna see if I like them here, if I want them over here, or if I want them around the fire pit. So we'll do all three and you guys can let me know what you think. But like, so far this is kind of fun because if you're over at our house with your kids and you want to be in the shade and like sit here while you watch your kids in the pool, this is this is a vibe. I'm not, I'm not hating this. Um, my allergies are giving me a run for my money today. I cannot wait to get inside. So the other thing we're going to do tomorrow is deep clean all of this, decorate all of this, this is all still drying, looks great. Most of the um, ground here got cleaned up. I see a little bit here, but I'm not gonna worry about it. This was an egg that got smashed, so I might pressure wash that tomorrow as well. And then we'll decorate this as well. Um, we have friends coming over, but I will just eat inside because I'm exhausted. And I'm ready to jump into this pool, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, I'm making a very simple dish. It is blackened chicken with green goddess dressing over a kale and vegetable salad. You guys are gonna love this. To get started, we're gonna make our blackened seasoning. I have this recipe linked down below. It is very simple. In a bowl, you're gonna mix together smoked paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper. I also like to add um, a little bit of chili pepper in here, but you don't have to do that. Some garlic powder, onion salt, oregano, and some thyme. Mix that all up and set it aside. I'm gonna be cutting up some chicken breasts and I'm going to put that into a bowl and then we're gonna mix all that delicious blackened seasoning in there and let it sit for about five minutes. In a cast iron skillet, go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil and you're gonna cook your chicken in here low and slow. It's one of the keys to this recipe. That way you don't burn the spices that are in here. I like to put it on a medium low heat. And the next thing we're gonna do is start making our green goddess dressing. This is very simple. I've made it many times on my channel. You're just gonna add mayonnaise, sour cream, garlic, parsley, tarragon, and chives. I also like to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice, salt and pepper and then you're just gonna blend that for about five minutes and once it's done go ahead and set it aside into your refrigerator
Since this is a green goddess salad, I like to add some wonderful green vegetables. I'm gonna be using poblanos, I like them. They can sometimes be a little spicy, but um, I think they're a great crunchy flavor. And I'm gonna be using asparagus as well, but you could also do broccoli or any other greens that you might like. I'm gonna be using dino kale for the base of this salad. It's my favorite and it really stops up that green goddess dressing beautifully. Once your chicken's done, go ahead and remove it and put it in a bowl and set it aside. We're gonna use the same cast iron skillet to cook our vegetables in. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here to ensure this doesn't burn. And then I'm just gonna add our vegetables and we're just gonna cook those up. While those are cooking, I'm gonna start prepping our salad. Once you have your green goddess dressing all mixed into your kale, we're gonna add a bit of that to a plate. I'm gonna sprinkle on our vegetables. I love this part because it kind of cooks the kale a little bit. And then I'm gonna add our chicken. Tonight, I'm gonna be topping this with some fresh chives from our garden and some green onions and voila, you guys have dinner. I hope you guys enjoy it. The recipe for this will be down below. I will also have it on our new uh, digital cooking book. If you guys wanna check that out, it'll be out in the next week or so. But I can't wait to see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.